Hello everyone, Dave Landry here from DaveLandry.com. Today we have a great example which has a plethora of lessons. Before we take a look at that, take a look at the disclaimer screen. As you know, you can lose money trading or as I often sum it up, all predictions are about the future. A lot of stuff can happen between now and then. I'm often asked about micromanagement versus discretion. And on the surface, a lot of times they look like they're the same thing, but they're not. First of all, micromanagement is trying to outsmart the market by aborting the rules or the plan. You're completely abandoning the methodology and you're not following the plan. Discretion is improving upon the methodology. Discretion is using your brain to help you to improve your position or portfolio performances. And in some cases, mitigate damage. Now, today we're going to focus on the improving performance. Now, here's a stock that I recently recommended called Airgain, A-I-R-G. We had an entry at 15 and our protective stop was down at 10 and a half. Now, notice what happened with the stock. Not much, not a good looking position at all. As you can see, it triggered off to the races a little bit at first, but then it came right back in and then just began to fizzle out. However, the stop wasn't hit. So micromanagement would say, well, here's the deal. This thing is not working. It's dead money. Let's just bail out. Well, what I always recommend is just follow the original plan. If you're stopped out, you're stopped out. If you waited this long, you could wait this much longer and just let yourself get stopped out. I know it's not easy, especially when other positions can be going against you. And uh, based on the entry minus a protective stop, this gave us an initial profit target of 1950. For more on the money management, see my website under videos. I got a ton of examples there. Now, let's talk a little bit about discretion as this position set up yesterday. It came within a few cents of the initial profit target. Our initial profit target, again, was 1950. Notice that the stock went down forever, but then it just turned right back around, began to go up. It sort of looked like a big IPO deep retracement for those of you who have the IPO course and are familiar with that. Sometimes you get these huge deep retracements and then they take off once again. Now, yesterday, again, it came within a few cents of the profit target. Discretion would say, well, you know what? We're almost there. It actually even closed uh, right up in here, really near the profit target. It would be okay to take partial profits based on that action because you never know what's going to happen today. Now, fortunately, today we did have a positive open, which exceeded the initial profit target in here. As you can see, we're looking for 1950. It opened at 2025. This is the actual portfolio for my trading service and i'm going to give you some information on how to see that both on either a, a, on both a delayed basis or even a live basis if you're interested uh you can see here that we gapped again exceeded the initial profit target now because i track things mechanically i would not use yesterday's close i would use today's open for tracking purposes and i track things mechanically to keep things simple however i do strongly believe in exercising a little discretion to help squeeze out some additional profits. Now, there are three ways to do this when you're blessed with an initial profit target that's exceeded on a gap. First of all, you could trail a stop intraday. So initial profit target was down here somewhere, it gapped over it. You could begin to trail a stop intraday higher and then get stopped out at some point during the day. In a case like this, let's assume you trail it up like this. You got $24 out of the position. So you improved it from here to here. Now, some people like to use a moving average or something. That's fine. Just whatever you want to do. Or you could actually just say, well, it's at 22. I'm going to bump it up to 21. It's at 23. I'm going to bump it up to 22 and so on and so forth. The other thing you could do is say you can play. That's enough. Somebody emailed me when it was up at 28 and say, hey, Dave, it's at 28. What do you think? Well, I'm sure by the time I replied, that email was way down here already but you can play what i call that's enough so you know what 28 it went up another six points or seven points for, and then uh, or eight points nine points from the initial profit target and then seven or eight points intraday you know what that's enough so i'm gonna go ahead and take that off now the last thing to do or the last thing the third option i should say is to play set it and forget it so what you could do is say okay well it's trailed higher in here i'm just going to put a stop in somewhere in here. And if I get stopped out, I'm going to make more money than I would originally made by following the original plan. So I've kind of beat the system, so to speak, in here. And by the end of the day, I'm going to go ahead and exit depending on where it is. Now, this is a bit of an extreme example because it went straight up. In a case like this, I wouldn't necessarily recommend you uh, take this set it and forget it approach. But in some cases, they're just kind of crawling higher during the day. 
you can just put a stop in and then forget about it. Now, remember, this is on half of your shares. I don't want to get too far into money management, but remember, we're looking to make, uh, we're look looking to take, I'm sorry, half of the position off when it hits the initial profit target for a swing trade. And then we're willing to stay with the remainder of the position for hopefully a long, long time for what could turn into a long term trade. Now, if you want to follow along with this, you could follow along for free or you could start for as little as $47 a, a month for the first month. And that's just a teaser rate, but at least it'll get you started. If you want to follow along for free, and the reason I would encourage you to follow along for free is so you don't see these examples that I put out and these video updates in the weekly charts as being perfectly uh, in high tide. You'll get to see every single trade recommended. So if you come to the Skidding Started page on my website and you go down to foresight and high side click right here you'll be able to sign up for the service for free delayed version of course now if you want to go live click on shop now in the uh, menu on the website and then click on trading service right here and then it, there's a promo code on this page which will allow you to get started for 47 dollars for your first month if you do want to go longer term let me know sometimes there's some specials available and I'll let you know when, the, when that occurs. Any questions, Dave at DaveLandry.com. Let me just give you my contact information here. I would recommend that you join my YouTube channel. We should have a banner, uh, a subscribe button pop up here shortly. And you can always, again, email me. And if you need to call me, email me first. I'll be happy to give you my number and we'll set up a, an appointment to talk. But uh, do check out the email channel. Do check out my website. I have over 600 posts there, which include articles, free reports, tons of videos, and video updates. YouTube channel has over 1,700 videos. So we have a plethora of information out there for you to get started. Any questions, again, shoot me an email. Everybody have a fantastic day, and may the trend be with you.